before I, I go over this video quickly, and by the way, guys, don't send hate to this video or anything. The guy sounds like a very reasonable guy. Sounds very cool. Please don't send hate. Don't support that. Um, and I think it was made, it was, it wasn't made in a hatey way at all. If you watch the video, um, but it's very well put together. So don't send, don't send hate or anything basically with manhunt just to explain. So the, the way it works with, um, the series, cause I tweeted about it is that generally we've, for the last two, we've done a, a series. So it's a five best of five series. So if you get three wins, then you win. And so now when you're talking about four hunters, it's the same thing. Um, so it's two to two right now in the four hunter series and the manhunt that's coming out is the final of the series and whoever wins that wins the series. Um, and then also another thing I've, I've said this many times before, but I think this is just important to understanding when I'm going into this video is basically off, if I die off the beginning, then, then we redo it because we don't want to have a grace period. The second thing is actually the hunters get paid an undisclosed amount if they kill me off the beginning. So the reason for that is essentially so that the competitiveness is still there because I don't want them to like, let me live off the beginning because then the video is not entertaining. So that's the incentive to make it. So it's actually intense off the beginning. Um, so that's, I think that's important to know. And the second thing, uh, I guess the third thing, there's a couple of rules with manhunt. So generally with manhunt, we have, you can't, you can't like permanently break, um, the portal, the, the nether portal. This, the next thing is that you can't, um, you can't create another portal in the nether. So you have to go back to the original portal. Um, and then we have a general rule, which we've never really like enforced in any way whatsoever, but it's basically like, guys, guys don't do anything like extremely broken and overpowered. That's like an instant win. Like if there's an instant win thing, then, then just neither of us would do it because that's just, that would make man, every manhunt pointless because then why don't you do that every time? Let's move on to specifically this. The reason I picked this video to watch and um, and talk about is just because I feel like it goes over so much. Like it literally, it's so detailed. It goes over like basically everything that's possibly suspicious in any manhunt ever. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Basically, this guy is saying he he has some theories, but it's manhunt scripted. Blah blah. You know what it, you know what it is. You can see here, George kills Sapnap, just as it seems all over for Dream, giving Dream seven pearls. This is never again seen in any other manhunt, and this kill happens to be the only reason Dream won this manhunt, which begs the question, why did George kill Sapnap in this specific manhunt, and not in any other? So this one I think is pretty funny. I think most people who are fans of mine might know this, but George and Sapnap, like they go at each other. You can find so many streams online of like George being like, dream, help me. And, and cause Sapnap's just killing him. Like they just, they just on the SMP everywhere. They literally just kill each other. Now, after this, I will say they probably learned a little bit and realized, Hey, in the manhunts, we shouldn't do that. But I will say they have actually done it in future manhunts after this. I just cut it out. I, the reason I cut it out is because of the fact that I, I want the manhunts to maintain like serious. Right. And I will say that like bad boy, halo and ant frost, they stop them. <laughs> they try and stop them from killing each other. So ever since there's been more hunters than just them, I think that's why it happened in the two hunters because they kill each other, right? Um, but in the future hunters, like battle, just tell them to stop and stuff, so. The most notable point about this video is that Dream managed to sneak up on the hunters on three separate occasions, despite them having a compass pointing to him at all times. This makes it seem as if they didn't have one at all. Now take a look at this. You can hear that bad is specifically searching for dream and you can so i mean he says you can hear bad is specifically searching for dream but he's literally walking he has no hunger he can't even sprint and he's walking towards a cow he's like you can hear that he's specifically searching for dream like now he's looking for food because he, he's gonna die if he doesn't get food right now um, but I get his point. He, he's saying that the compass should turn and then he would see, he would see that the compass turned, but I'm pretty sure that when you click the compass, um, you, you have to click it to update it. So that's the first, that's the first thing. Um, and the second thing, and even, even if you don't, this point applies as well. You can just not look at the compass. Like a lot of times you can just get distracted. Like bad has no reason to believe that I'm hiding behind a tree about to jump him when he sees a cow and runs towards the cow. You can just, and I, he makes this point about the compass a lot throughout the video saying like, oh, if they saw the compass, they'd know this. Um, so I guess two, a, couple, a couple things to clarify with the compass. One, the nether, you don't, we don't actually use the compass. So in the nether, we have a little thing above the hotbar that points to where I am. 
Um, but again, with the compass, it doesn't show like the Y axis. So if I'm below them or above them, they have no idea. And one thing he talks about later, which I'll just skip over later, is in the nether, when I made the nether maze, they're, they're like walking through the nether maze. And he's like, well, why don't, they just, why don't they just mine through the wall and follow their compass? Because again, they're assuming I'm probably in this nether maze and they want to explore it. And so they're walking around, checking all the different areas, going to the end of the maze and et cetera, et cetera, to try and figure out where I am. And they're not mining through the wall because they could mine. Like if I just dug down five blocks, they could dig a whole chunk error and they probably wouldn't find me, you know, even using their compass. Because in nether, you just have netherrack. I, do, I mine two blocks away and place netherrack and then I'm gone. As you see here, Dream gave enough time for the hunters to collect full iron again after Satnap only had his So this is another thing he mentions uh, quite a few times. Um, but one thing that one thing he gets that he doesn't understand is that we don't see their point of view, so we don't know how they collect iron. Um, one thing I will say is that if you ask them, a lot of times they um, they have extra iron. Like they leave extra iron at spawn in a chest and they leave extra iron near their bed in a chest. And that happens, I don't know, that happens really frequently. It happens all the time. And they just have extra iron. They throw it in a chest knowing that I'm probably gonna kill them. Or even if I kill one of them, then they'll have extra iron and they'll be able to, you know, respawn, grab the extra iron, throw it together, and then um, and then come back and fight me. So that, that, they mentioned that a lot. He mentions that they have, how they get the iron so quickly? Well, it's because they had extra iron. You'll see that Dream doesn't burn any of the stuff, giving away for the hunter to yet get it again. Ah, uh, yes, I didn't burn the stuff that's in the water. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I technically could have, like I could have placed blocks and stuff like below it and tried to block off the whole waterway and and got it up so I can burn it. Um, but I wasn't, I think I just wasn't thinking about that. And also it's in the water, dude. Like, I mean, I, am I really gonna, am I going out of my way to burn this stuff? Like probably not. This is number three of my notes. Dream at all times. This makes me question whether or not they actually have a compass. <laughs> you hear George scream there. Well, again, they're not like they're not constantly looking at his compass, staring at it, and going, hmm, "Where is Dream? Is he going to sneak up on me?" And also, one thing he doesn't even mention is that I come from the same way the compass was pointing. Like, look how f I'm coming from this direction. So even yeah, if he was staring, just... even if he was staring at the compass, it would be pointing the exact same way. I'm just running in a straight line towards him from the same direction. Like, even there, the compass just wouldn't, even if he was staring at the compass, which I guarantee he wasn't, I mean, it would still surprise him because I just came from the exact direction the compass was. Like, it wouldn't move at all. He said, we can't hit him, though. Now, you would assume here that he's just saying he can't reach him, but seeing how close they were before Dream entered the water and seeing how many times Dream had met... So, I want to give chat a chance. What do you guys think? Why can't he hit me? Why did he say I can't hit him, though? I see some answers. Boat. That's right. <laughs> you're, when you're in a moving boat, you literally can't hit. Like, you can't hit somebody. It, the Minecraft mechanics don't work. So, congrats, chat. You're very smart. Now, skip to 4.30. <laughs> Here we see Dream announce to the hunters that he found the second, the second stronghold. So, I, I'll give chat a chance again. Why do you think that I said that? Why was it okay for me to say that? Does anyone know in chat? Okay, I'll say. So basically, the portal was already lit. So when you light the portal, it makes a, a sound, right? It goes like, boom, like a giant sound that everyone hears, right? So I had already lit it. They knew I was at a second stronghold. They just didn't know how I was at a second stronghold. They literally already knew that. Like they, they knew I had lit, lit a portal and they knew it wasn't the portal they were at. So the reason I said it is just for the video. Like, I'm at the second stronghold. Like, this is for the video so that way people know, like, oh, that's what he did. He went to the second stronghold. Um, but they already knew. So it didn't it didn't give away like anything at all. He could have waited till he got into the end and then mentioned, oh yeah, I was at the second stronghold. But I don't see why he mentioned it here. And then also gave the hunters <laughs> one minute of extra time. So this time this was probably dumb of me. Um, but my mindset here was that they are so, like I ran the path. It was extremely far. It was like 4,000 blocks or something. And I'm thinking I can kill the dragon in like maybe five, six minutes. But I was thinking there's like no way they get here. But what I didn't take into account is that they had speed pots and stuff. So that was just a mistake on my part. But I still had to clear my inventory either way. But I should have gone in that way. The dragon had more time to like perch and stuff. So that was just a mistake. 
Now this this one actually this this is like the most suspicious one in the whole Julia. thing. But I'll, I'll, I'll explain. He's almost broken, and he is on half a heart. Yes. Now look at that. Just a few seconds later, we see a cut. So he is on half a heart. So I want to point out something here with the cut. Just pay attention to my blocks. I have 34, right? 34 blocks. God. He mines a block. That. There's lava here. I have 37 blocks. Which could very much easily kill him if he's lit on fire. And 34. And then suddenly... That. 58. Okay? So the cut is a long cut. Okay, so that, that's the first thing to point out. The cut is a pretty long cut. I'm mining. I'm trying to get into the portal. The portal's, th the portal's through the lava. Um, but I'm, but I'm, I, it's a long cut. So it's not like a 0.25 seconds cut or something. It's a long cut. It's a little bit later. There's a cut. And now his shield is fully repaired. And if we... So it's not fully repaired, first of all. It's like partially repaired. Jump to 1621. We can see his inventory. In which we'll see that Dream only had six iron ingots. Yes, no extra shield. Remember this. This is very important. You're Dream right. has six iron ingots. No extra shield. Now we jump to 2444 and we'll see that Dream here has an extra shield, six iron ingots, and a fully repaired, an almost half repaired shield. This makes me question what happened because he couldn't have. Which one is it? Finale. I'm this. Come on, oh. George, you got this. Oh, what are you do doing? Push oh, my him. God. oh my god. Please die! I oh my Come on! Now this makes me question that whether or not Dream had prolonged the manhunt. Just so the hunters could get fully enchanted armor. Because note at this point, before in the video, the hunters didn't have enchanted armor. And they had all died. They had all died. Pay attention to that. He says they had all died. Right? Let's see. Did they all die? Where'd he go? So bad died. Okay, it's okay. Just look for Wait. Him. Wait, Wait, son, I'm no! Oh my god! George died. Oh, I'm out, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Sapnap. Sap yes. What? Dream. Where did Sapnap go? Why? Sapnap didn't die. So that's the first thing that's wrong about that. Sapnap didn't die. So Sapnap had full iron, and Sapnap was able to retrieve some of bad stuff. So bad had full iron. Sapnap had full iron. So the only person who didn't have full iron was George. Region up. Ice bucket challenge? What? George, come here, come here, come here. Uh, oh, man. that's smart. So he was able to collect obsidian right then and make an enchantment table. Um, and again, I'm traveling a lot. And it, you don't, if, I don't know if you guys see here, but I mined a lot of wood because I was planning on trading for pearls and then enchanting prot one. It takes one level each, one level. So you kill like a couple mobs and you get one, you get one level. Like, and all you need is four levels each to do it. And Sapnap, again, didn't die. And if you listen closely in the video, Sapnap enchants for them. I'm like, I'm pretty sure for, for bad, at least I, I'm, I'm watching him. I'm actually, this happened a long time ago, but I'm pretty sure he enchants for them. Uh Oh, incoming. I got extra levels. No, don't pick it up. Don't pick it up. I just killed some mobs. Wait, hold on. Where, where is he? Wait, what? Okay, yeah. So they've been running, um, but yeah. So basically, they enchanted for each other. They shared XP. They didn't all have to get XP, but I, I don't know exactly how it happened. But regardless, it's not that long to get level, you know, level one enchantments on all your armor and your sword. It takes like, it takes nothing. Like, now the next point backs up my other my other claim even further. Dream here, drink, drink. the hunters catch up to him. And you can see almost all of them have full iron armor yet again. Only George Not Found doesn't have a helmet. This makes me question, did Dream yet again stole it for long enough? So here I was just killing Enderman. Like you can see my XP. Actually, I want to look at this. I remember my XP was like insane. Kill us. 
All right, so look, I kill them here. I'm at level 27, right? I'm at level 27. And then they show up again. Like here. I'm at level 32 and almost 33. Now, the hardest levels to get are 27 to like, like 27 and above. I'm at 32, almost 33. That's a lot of levels. Like you can sit at a mob spawner for 15 minutes and barely go from 27 to 30. I was there killing Endermen and mobs. And there were so many mobs for like the longest period of time trying to get pearls. I just needed like five pearls or something. And, and there's like Endermen were rare. They hardly spawned. And I was just killing them over and over again. So that's why they caught up. But you can just see my levels. Like I was just killing so many mobs. And it takes such a long time too. Here we see there's a very oh clear God, oh hole in which Sapnap could have hit Dream. We see that there is a one block hole in which he could have hit Dream. I mean, like to be fair, I mean, I don't know how I, I can really explain this because I'm not from their perspective, so I have no idea why they didn't hit me. Like, and this isn't an easy hit to be fair. Like he's like three, four, he's like four blocks down. There's like a block in the way. It's up one to the right. Like it's not the, it's not the easiest hit. And they're trying to mine. So they're probably holding pickaxes and stuff. But then again, I'm not them. I have no idea. But sometimes like you'll just make mistakes, especially when you're like in an intense moment where like you're fighting somebody. It's just hard. Yeah, Bad just, Bad just stands still for some reason. He, he, he just stands still. I don't know why, but he just stands still. Which backs up further evidence saying that the hunters have a client which show how much health stream is on. Okay. So let's think about that real quick. So he just said that he thinks that in this scene at 33 minutes and 12 seconds in the Manhunt finale rematch, that bad not jumping towards me and hitting me was because I was on one heart and because they can see my health. So let's go and watch that scene in slow motion, actually. Let's watch that scene in slow motion. I'm going to watch this whole scene in slow motion. So I shoot and miss. Bad doesn't jump towards me. Kind of weird. George jumps towards me. I'm on one heart. Keep in mind. Switches to his sword and hits me. I'm on one heart. He's saying that they have a mod to see my health. George hits me with a sword on one heart. But because he was on slow cooldown when he switched to his sword, I lived on half a heart. Like I, I, I was probably like literally so close to dying here but he, he skips this clip why does he skip this clip that's ridiculous like he uses the clip like literally a couple seconds before it um but but we're talking about george like right after this that he shows like he shows bad doing this weird thing and then and then he doesn't show george like it's not even a second later like he could have just shown this clip a second later george hits me with a sword when i'm on one heart like, there's no way that George could in any way whatsoever think that wouldn't kill me if he knew I was on one heart. So that's just like, like, he doesn't show that though. And it, you can see here, it says weak attack, right? So weak attack just means basically that he swung too early. So he didn't let his attack charge. Um, and he had to do that because he was getting shot by me like half a second later. If he hadn't done that, then I would have shot him back and maybe lived. Um, but that's just, to me, that's just crazy. Like, he didn't show that. He just like skipped over it. He showed the clip a second before and then not the clip right after. How did the hunters get full armor again? Like, they had just died not a few minutes ago in the video. I mean, again, he keeps using, like, a few minutes ago in video terms. Like, really, you just need to, like... Like, the, the video... Like, the, la like the, recording, the recordings we've done are, like, four hours. Like, sometimes less, but usually somewhere between, like, three hours and four hours. Maybe five hours. I think the longest one we've done ever was like five hours, five and a half hours or something. Like that happens. That, that's, that's what happens. So when you're watching a 40 minute video, you know, you're missing two hours and a half of footage. So every minute, like every minute's like four or five minutes or something. Like it, it really is. And usually when they're not near me, I cut more out. So usually when you, when you, so that way you, it feels more like tense because if you're seeing them like all the time, then it feels really tense. So I'll cut out a lot of times when they're not near me, unless they're saying funny stuff. Again, look at these XP right now. I've talked about this before. There, uh, th this one's like the most obvious one where it's like, oh, that was staged because my XP goes down after a certain point. But the server, the server crashed. And during that whole point, the server was lagging. So and you can actually see in the uncut footage um, of the, my last manhunt, the server crashed. There wasn't a rollback because we had fixed that issue, but the server crashed. Um, but that, that in this manhunt particularly, if you watch, it was lagging a lot. Like you can go through and watch this entire 
this entire manhunt and it's like very laggy compared to usual lava traps he's saying this is legit and blah blah he said that there hunters clearly do know how the compass works yet still dug for dream in number six and then and again so he's saying here that um they knew i was either above or below them right away here and that he's saying and they didn't in other cases they he didn't know that i mean they, they didn't know that he was near them and he snuck up on them but the reason here is because they're they're actively looking for me so they're paying attention to the compass and also the compass automatically updates in the nether so the nether they're more likely to notice right away because they don't have to click it like they have a little thing above their hot bar and so they don't they don't have to actually click it crouched there had like two of them jumped down hit the strider even twice two hits and this strider would have been dead <laughs> to me this one's kind of ridiculous it's like if any of them had suicided into the lava and happened to get close enough and, and dream didn't move away quick enough and they hit his strider twice and then died then he would die and 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 why didn't they do that why didn't they risk literally burning their all of their items in lava for like a chance at killing him 4059 is the next point here we see bad boy halo place an ender crystal right next to dream this is a one block distance with no blocks in between but he runs off had he blown this ender crystal up dream would have easily died even with 10 hearts and full diamond armor he would have died from an ender crystal this close hell even netherite with full prop four might die. 40 58 I put it, I put it down. It keeps pushing me. Even in full netherite, he would die. He would die from, from blowing up the crystal in full netherite. I put it, I put it down. It keeps pushing me up. Like, I, I feel like he, he, like, he sees that, and then he just, like, stops, skips ahead five seconds, and then keeps watching the video. Like. Which I don't get why Bad Boy Halo didn't blow this up. Now, 44, 42 is the next point I wanted to clear up. Many people say this is fake, because Bad Boy Halo here is hitting Dream with a pickaxe. This is not fake. But you can see Bad Boy Halo carrying a pickaxe around and holding a pickaxe throughout many scenes right before. This. Yeah, I mean, Bad only Bad only had a pickaxe because I had killed him before. Pickaxe as a weapon. Yeah, he's I right. Want to clear. Here at 48, we see that Satnat makes a mistake. He blows up a bed and he kills himself. I feel like this is such a rookie mistake for Satnat that it shouldn't happen. Um, well, yeah, it is. But then again, like just mistakes like that can happen occasionally. I'm pretty sure he just, I, I, again, I don't see his perspective, but I'm pretty sure he just like misplaced a block. Here how Bad is really cautious about going to Nether, thinking that Dream has made a trap for them. Here at 33:44, he goes against completely what he just said. Yeah, so the thing is, in this part, this people, people say they point this part all, all, out all the time and say, well, the first time when he needed time, they didn't go through, but the second time they went through right away. Um, but there's a, there's a difference between the two. So the first time, it was the first time they were entering another portal after me, and they had a discussion. They had like a five minute discussion about whether or not they should go through. And then later on now, again, they got to the same part where I'm by a portal and I end up going through it and I'm trying to bait them to follow me. And they followed me right away. And the reason they followed me right away is because of the fact like they already had the discussion. They're not going to stop and go again. Well, guys, what if he has a trap again? Like, whatever, let's talk about the same thing we talked about 10 minutes ago. Like, obviously not. They're not going to do that. So they didn't do it the second time because they had already done it the first time. That part is where cave spiders usually spawn. Yet not a single cave spider spawns. So, first of all, I'm breaking iron with a golden pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> I staged that part. I thought it'd be so funny to break, make myself look like a fool. Um, but no, the reason the mobs don't spawn as much is because it's on easy. We play manhunts on easy. We also play on a server. So there's mob caps. So what mob caps are is it means that if there's a certain number of mobs already spawned, then it won't spawn as like, it won't spawn more mobs near you because it's hit the limit, the limit of mobs being spawned. Right. Um, so I want you to listen carefully to something he says that this plays into that because he says something. You can hear George and Sapnap complaining about there's so many mobs, yet next to Dream, there's not a single mob. That makes sense, 
right? So when you see no mobs in Manhunt, it's usually because of that. And also I cut out me fighting mobs a lot because it's just boring. Like, And also this Manhunt was uncut. You can go watch this entire Manhunt. There's lots of mobs on Dream XD. You can go watch the fully uncut Manhunt from start to finish. You can quote unquote see them giving them a hint to check their compasses. So this was the, this was the dumb move by me. Um, I, I, I said, I can see you guys. And then I said, I can see your dumb little castle thing. Now it backfired because George knows me and he could tell that I was lying. And so he went, guys, like, no, he's in the overworld. Like he, he instantly knew. Like if he, even if he had taken like a minute to find out, that would have been enough, but he instantly knew. And despite being there for more than five minutes, right? In video time alone, in video time alone, that could have been so much longer in actual game time. It's not well, if you'd like, speaking of which, everybody right now, go on YouTube, search up Minecraft Manhunt channel, click the channel, it has a compass icon, and there's a video that's called One Heart Bluff. It has the full uncut clip. You might as well go check it out. Two hits is all it takes to kill Dream with on full health, right? On full health. Had he had full health, it would have only taken two hits. Even with that iron armor, it would have only taken two hits from a stone axe to have killed him. Yet yeah, all four hunters just run. What makes this even more ridiculous is George. George had only realized Dream had iron armor. So before when they ran, they only saw that he had shield. He had a shield and they all ran. I'll just say this. This is all, this is all I'm going to say. This is all I need to say. I have beaten each one of these people here that are running. Every one of them. In a best of 10. When they had full diamond armor, I had a shield and no armor. And he's wondering why they're running when he sees that I have more armor than them and a shield. <laughs> and he's wondering why they're running from me. They don't know I'm on one heart. They're assuming I'm rushing them with full health. That's that's why, like, I'll say this as well. Like, because of the fact that I practice for the Technoblade duel with shield PvP with a specific kit, I am very good with just, like, shield and axe and, like, not much stuff involved. And, like, obviously, Ant and Bad, they don't do shield PvP very often. So, like, Sapnap's by far the best at shield PvP in their group. Um, and even him, I don't think I've ever lost, like, a series against Sapnap. But he does, like, very good. Like, I'd say he's one of the best. He's probably one of the best shield PvPers, like, on Minecraft. It's ridiculous on why he, why they ran. Like, there's four of you guys here. And again, Saturn didn't have a shield. If Saturn had a shield, I'm sure he'd be running at me. So, this this is not scripted. The amount of arrow. Thank you. Dream kills Sapnap's horse. He runs onto his own horse and runs away. But Sapnap here kills Dream's horse. Right? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna comment on how if he had hit Dream, Dream would have died. But he kills Dream's horse, and then he he runs. Oh yeah, because Sapnap's probably low. And again, Sapnap doesn't know how much health I'm on. The number one criticism made by people that of Manhunt is they'll say like, why didn't they just hit him again? He's on half a heart or on one heart or on two hearts. But they can't see my health. They can't. They, they cannot see my health. So he has no idea if I'm on eight hearts, two hearts. Like, yes, he's hit me twice. So we can assume I'm probably low, but he probably doesn't know I'm this low. And he's probably low himself. So he's most likely, his priority was killing the horse because he doesn't want me to get away and get a huge head start. But then the second priority to him was, I need to live. I'm probably really low. And he runs and he eats. Runs away. He, he runs away. One hit on Dream and Dream would have died, but he- He doesn't know that. He doesn't know I'm one hit. Runs away. This just makes no sense. Say that again, but imagine you don't know my health. So just say, Dream has unknown health and he ran away. Doesn't sound as ridiculous, does it? Just replace every time someone says he had this health and did this. Just replace this health with just unknown. At forty-two oh seven. I just need to point this out. Sapnap, had you just hit Dream, Dream would have died. Chat. That participation. He doesn't know his health. <laughs> He doesn't know my health. That's why. That's the answer for like, for like everything. But, but yeah, he doesn't know his health. But also, like, I'm like to the side, one block below him. There's a block between us. It's like a foot trap. Like, it'd be hard for him to hit me, first of all. And second of all, he doesn't know my health. So he probably thinks I, he might have to hit me three, four, five times. He probably thinks I have food. I just happen to have no food. That's why I didn't heal. Otherwise, I would have been on full health. So again, he has no idea what my health is. And it'd be really hard for him to hit me. So, congratulations, chat. You got your participation points. 
My final question about this one is why didn't Dream post a full bod for this one? There's so many um, well, that's actually that's actually a good question. So the reason that we, we haven't posted the full vods in the past, there's like a couple main reasons. The first one is that it kind of pulls back the curtain. You know, there's much times where we're just sitting there talking. We're not, we're not, we're not really doing anything. I'm just collecting stuff where it's really super quiet. We're literally, and there's also like, like I said, the server can crash. Just things that happen. Um, we pause, we go to the bathroom. Like it just, it kind of cut, pulls back the curtain. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is that we have to be on our best behavior. Like we can't, like, obviously I don't want to ruin my, like my retention and, and stuff. So obviously we can't curse. We can't say inappropriate things. We can't say things I wouldn't want on my YouTube if I release an uncut. Or, or we can't talk personal stuff. Like, cause during that downtime, we always like meme and talk personal stuff and curse and whatever during the downtime in the manhunts. And so it makes the manhunts like that one manhunt was probably the least fun to record. Like it was the, it was super fun still, but it was the least fun to record because we had, we were like knowing, oh, this is going to be, we're going to release this uncut. So let's just, you know, we're not going to talk anything personal. We're not going to say anything we wouldn't want in the video, things like that. So that's why I'm not releasing any more in the future. Maybe I'll do another one just like down the line. Like, but it'd probably be like four or five videos from now or something. That way it's like, okay, just again, here's proof this isn't staged. Let's upload it again. But I think uploading one is enough because like crazy stuff happened. It was similar. It was like the same to all the other manhunts, basically. It's uncut. You can watch it. You can see how things go. You can see the different progression, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so that's why that's why we didn't release it for the last one. Like I, I have a much younger audience. I, I like not cursing in videos. I like not um, using language in my videos. Um, so like obviously we're still ourselves. Like you can tell because you can see our streams and we're the, exactly the same people. The only thing is that we don't curse. We say less inappropriate stuff. We say less things that that are less like brand friendly and stuff. If that makes sense. Like I said at the beginning, I'll reiterate it. Do not send hate to this person. I, I'll say this that anybody who does that, you are no fan of mine. And, um, I, I do not accept you into this community. I do not accept you into my, as a fan of mine, I'm sure he'll see this video. He left it in the description saying, Hey, dream could DM me or something. Um, so he's, he's a, seems like a good guy. Um, and I, I think he genuinely, this was actually a good thing. Cause I got to talk through this, explain everything, talk about all these different aspects. Um, so obviously I, I can't control anybody. Um, but if you see people doing that, make sure they know they are not a fan of mine, right? They may be somebody trying to be a troll or whatever, but they're not a fan of mine. No hate. Yeah. I will see you guys soon. I love you guys. Thank you for coming out. Bye. Love you. Bye.